Evening all, morning, whatever the time is you're watching this film. Welcome to the uh, UK Deer Boar Hunting uh, Deer Hide First Edition. Um, basically what you're going to need to do today is follow what we're going to tell you for obviously the day that you'll be coming up and meeting us. My name's Graham Carter, I'm the Administrator at De UK Deer and Boar. This My is Dan Breton and um, yeah, I'm hosting the, the skin tanning process and these are some of the ingredients that you're going to need. Um, you're going to need some, some bran, which can be bought at any um, equestrian or country um, feed store out there. Um, you're going to need some uh, bicarbonate of soda. You're going to need plenty of salt, um, some battery acid, believe it or not, and a lot of hot water. An awful lot of hot water. And obviously, your deer hide. Okay, so you've shot your deer, you've skinned it carefully, now what you need to do is what we call fleshing. So any flesh left on the skin, you need to take a sharp knife or instrument and you need to scrape it off. And it's quite, quite an involved process, it takes a lot of elbow grease, but if you don't do this, you won't get the right results. So basically all this sort of stuff you've got to get off. Okay, right, you've fleshed your, your hide, now what you need to do is salt it for about a week prior to doing the tanning process. So just decent um, cooking salt, just chuck it all over, you can't use enough salt. So basically you completely cover the skin, a good layer, about an inch or more, and during the week that it's being salted, if you see any patches that are looking wet, just add more salt. But you need to get it into all, all the areas, all the little crevices, and this is to start drying out and drawing moisture out of the hide. Okay, so before you start the tanning process, you need to get your bran and you need to soak it an hour before. And it is, um, we're having two packets of bran put it into this, which is about one and a half kilos into a gallon and a half of hot water. And that just needs to soak for an hour before you can start this tanning process. Right, now this is the bran that we had soaking for an hour. Now what we need to do, we need to get the water from the bran um, so that we can put that into the um, tanning solution. So here, I've just got an improvised funnel mesh and I'm just trying to get all of the water out. Okay right now we're about to make up our brining solution we've got two gallons of hot water in our dustbin I'm about to put in a, a cup and a quarter of battery acid which um, obviously one has to be careful. And I will point out he should be wearing goggles. <laughs> Yes, I should be wearing goggles, <laughs> but I have got my special contact lenses in, um, which should protect me. Here we go, so this is our first, first cup into our brining solution. Okay, that's the battery acid. Now, we need more salt, so we need eight cups of salt to go into this solution. I can get into that. That's one. Two. Now we need to add the water from our brand. Okay, now we need our skin. Okay, right, we need to stir this around to mix everything together. And then we add our skin, which we've sh shaken all the salt off. Um, it doesn't matter if there's a bit left on there. 
and we pop that in there we'll give it a good stir around for the stick make sure it's getting over all the skin and once we're happy with work the skin enough we need to then weight the skin down with something I'll just use an old bit of plastic just to make sure that it's got plenty of the solution around it and then we leave it for 40 minutes okay now we're going to put our soda in with two gallons of hot water as our neutralizing solution we need two ounces of soda so we pop that in there and this is to neutralize the acid that we've used in curing the skin so we'll give that a little mix now we get our skin that's been in the tanning solution for 40 minutes Careful because this is obviously got battery acid in it. Now we'll just let that drain as much as we can. And now we'll pop it into the neutralising solution and we'll give that a mix around. And then we leave that for 20 minutes. Okay, this has been in the um, neutralizing solution for 20 minutes. So now what we're going to do, we're going to hang it up and just let it drip dry. So that effectively is now cured. Um, but before we can do the next step, it needs to be completely dry. So hang it up to drip dry and then when it's finished drip drying I usually take them indoors um, put them near the fire to dry a little bit more. Now once they're completely dry we go on to the next step which here's one I prepared earlier. Um, now this has been dried, um, it's been cured, been dried. Now what you need to do is add some oil. It's um, There's seven kinds of oil you can use. There's neat foot oil, um, leather dressing, you get them from horse, horse type places for doing the horse leather. Um, and basically, what you do is you pop it onto your skin. Plenty on. You could use a brush if you like. I just use my fingers. And basically, you massage that into all of the skin. All over. It smells quite a bit, which is not good when it's in the house. But then, basically, what you do when you've covered this in the oil. I take it into a, a warm, dry environment. Um, I find out here in the outbuildings, they don't dry out properly. I, I have to take them in the house. Um, but maybe if you've got a shed, you could put a little heater in. Um, you could use that to dry them out. So basically that is one of the last processes of the, of the tanning. Now, this is what you hope to end up with once it's dried out. So it dries out. And because you've scraped it, there's no fat left on there. And then what you do, you get a wire brush. So it's all dry. And you just go over with a wire brush. And you just scratch it up a bit like, so it's like suede. And then that also helps to make it more supple. And that is basically what you end up with. A skin done, which you can hang on the wall or have as a rug whatever you'd like to do. Now this is one that I did a year ago um, and it's turned out very well. But thank you very much for watching uh, UK Deer and Boar Hunter tanning session um, and I hope you find it of some use.